Here are some examples of perfect multicollinearity, which essentially says that redundant regressors are not allowed. More formally, it says that we can't have any regressor, or perfect multicollinearity says there is a regressor that is a linear combination of other regressors, and that's something we can't have. So the first example, if we imagine x1 is some distance measured in kilometers, and then x2 is the same distance just measured in miles, so it can be written as 1.6 times x1, uh, then we have perfect multicollinearity because x2 is a linear combination of x1. In other words, it's just some constant times x1. And we could think about, you know, if we tried to write out a model with both x1 and x2, well, we can plug in for x2 because it's just 1.6 times x1. So then we'll just end up having a single regressor whose slope is beta 1 plus 1.6 beta 2. So we know if we run OLS, we could estimate this sum, beta 1 plus 1.6 beta 2, but there's no way we can distinguish between beta 1 and beta 2. It's all just lumped together as the slope on x1. The second example, if we imagine some regressor x3 is just the sum of x1 and x2, that is also perfect multicollinearity because x1 plus x2 is a linear combination of those two regressors. Uh, more generally, it would be a problem if for any constants a and b, we had ax1 plus bx2, because that is a linear combination by definition. Um, so that would also be perfect multicollinearity, which uh, we can't have in our model. Third example, if you imagine we have a dummy variable, like x1 equals an indicator for female, and then we also had x2 as an indicator for not female. Uh, then, since they're defined in complementary ways, uh, x1 plus x2, everybody either has x1 equal 1 or x2 equals 1, uh, but they can't have both and they can't have neither. So x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. And recall, even though one does not look like a regressor, it's the secret regressor that we use for the intercept. So remember, when we write things like beta naught plus beta one x one plus beta two x two, um, we could think of that as really beta naught times x naught 
plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 where this x0 secret regressor is just equal to 1 for everyone. So in other words, x1 plus x2 equals x0 from our model. Uh, this is, of course, assuming we do have an intercept term in our model. If we didn't have the intercept term, uh, then there would be no x0, and we could include beta, or sorry, include x1 and x2.